All right, welcome. We're going to look at some adding and subtracting of fractions. And the key thing that you need to remember when adding or subtracting fractions is that you have a common denominator. So if I have, say, two-thirds minus one-third, I need to be making sure I'm talking about the same size pieces. So I have two-thirds minus the one-third would give me one-third. So as long as I have a common denominator, all is well. And as all of these show, we're giving you common denominators. We're doing little baby steps for you here. So I add my numerators. I keep my denominator the same because the denominator is just telling you how many pieces it is cut up into. The top is telling you how many pieces you have. So once I have that, all of this guy disappears with all of this guy, leaving me with one. This was in the denominator. I need to make sure that I keep it in the denominator. Let's go ahead and look at a subtraction problem. I already have my common denominator, so I keep that on there. And then I'm going to have x squared minus 4x minus 32, which now I do need to make sure that I factor to reduce. So I see if that works. Negative 32 and negative 4 gives me 8 and 4. Uh, which gives me x plus 4, x minus 8. I already had x minus 8 on the bottom. So when we reduce those, we get x plus 4 as our answer.